I'm going to start with the breadcrumbs and the palms and cheese. That goes in together. Now, what I'm making is a crumbed chicken thigh. It's crispy on top, it's juicy on the inside and packed full of flavour. Palms and cheese, a little bit of dried thyme and some salt to season that. And I'm just going to give that a quick mix with my fingers. Best tools in the kitchen, right? And that is easy. That's all done. Now with the chicken, just as easy. I've got some melted butter here, just about a tablespoon's worth, and about one teaspoon, a heaped one, of mustard. And I'm just going to mix it together. And that eventually comes together. So mustard and chicken goes really well together because chicken thighs are quite rich and got a nice dark brown meat flavour. The mustard cuts through it, kind of almost like a st um, how you have it with steak, right? And this is going to act like the glue for our chicken. So, just put a spoonful on top and rub it on. Be generous. We want this to hold all that crumbs on. Okay. And for the other chicken thigh, it's been deboned, but of course you can buy it de uh, with the bone, and it gives it extra flavour and keeps it juicy. But it does take a little bit longer to cook. That looks good to me. Now the crumbing, and you can see already just how easy it is. Straight on, straight on, and give that a bit of a pat. We want as much of that to stick as possible. And now onto a baking tray. Luckily, I've got a, a, a grease proof or non stick, they call baking tray, so I don't need to add extra oil to that so it stays nice and healthy. And on with our next one. Here we go. And repeat this for as many people as you want to cook for. A little bit more cheese on there, and that goes into the oven. Now, I'm just going to put this aside because I've got some I've made earlier. I need a bit of room, okay? And here we go. Now, I've cooked this straight into a frying pan. Just because I don't want to wash up a whole entire baking tray, just for a bit, couple of bits of chicken. And watch out, it is hot. And of course, for Maggie, you want a nice complete meal. So an ex another idea I've uh, thrown in there are some potatoes. They're fondant potatoes. They're cut up nice and, you know, one inch like. And then um, we bake that with a bit of stock and some butter. So here we go. That is your crumb chicken. You see the cheese has got real crispy and the crumb's going to be beautiful. And here are the potatoes. You can see that's gone crispy as well. And a little bit of that cheese that's fallen off the chicken has gone onto the potatoes to give it extra flavour. Here we go. Now all you need here is a nice dress side of greens and you've got a complete meal for for under $20. Please hurry up and subscribe. Click, click the subscribe button. No Eva, you've been pushing. No. Why is it so big? Oh, keep pushing. Just click subscribe. Otherwise we're going to be here the whole time. Oh,